Hey y'all, so I am on my way home. I don't know why this hair look cute on camera, but every time it it don't look good in person, y'all. But this hair is giving me um dang he knows it. This hair is giving me um Holly Berry in that thriller movie. It was a scary movie. I forgot the name of it. But um I just went to pick up a little red cake. Um, from H-E-B I went and picked up his shirt from the post office so today is his actual birthday but we're not um, we're taking him out to eat he's having his cake um, what else I'm taking him to GameStop but he's like activities is not going to start till this weekend like he's going to Urban Air and then he's going to uh, CC's Pizza because he likes CC's Pizza. So I'm taking him to do that. Um, but yeah, we're all going out to eat tonight for his birthday. I can't wait till he see his shirt. And you know, as his mama, I had to match his fly and get him a sh get me a shirt too because I'm a proud mama, okay? I want to represent my baby on his birthday. Ain't no shame in that. So I got his favorite um, theme for his cake, which is Ninja Turtles. He loves Ninja Turtles. So I got that because, you know, he was supposed to get a turtle for his birthday, but he ain't ready. He wasn't ready. So no turtles for the birthday, but y'all know I did get him his, uh, he wanted an Xbox 360 uh, for his birthday. So I did get that. Um, this one is dope because even though it's the Xbox 360, it has the Wi-Fi, more of the uh, hardware drive is bigger. So, it's, it's a whole lot better. I will say that. Um, and I got him two controllers. So, yeah. But so, I'm on my way home to jump in the shower, change clothes. Because I have to pick up Ja'Cory for 5 o'clock. So, I'm going to do that. And then, we'll be on his way. As y'all know, his daddy made it in town. On time for his birthday. He didn't think he was going to make it. And he ended up making it. Right now, we beefing. But I ain't gonna let that stop me from celebrating my son's B day. I'm gonna put this beef on the back burner because I'm gonna hold a grudge until this weekend is up. And then we back beefing. But right now, it's about this son of ours. So we got to put out this. He ain't beefing, I'm beefing. Like my husband think everything cool. It ain't. We beefing. And you probably can't watch y'all beefing about. Okay, so this, this compadre decided that he was going to go buy some workout equipment. And he put the workout group equipment in his homeboy house. Talking about we ain't have no room. We got a whole two-car garage. What you mean? We got a whole master. And when I say master, my, my bedroom is huge. We got a whole master bedroom. You can put that in. So what you mean? No, you just say what it is. Just say you wanted the equipment to go to your homeboy house. You wanted to be able to work out at your homeboy house. A dude that I can't stand, nor do I like. If he was on fire, I wouldn't spit on him to put him out. And you're probably like, Key, I thought you was trying to get saved. I am trying to get saved. Well, I'm already saved. But I have a real, real dislike for his homeboy. I can't stand him, nor his wife. So... Yeah, that burned my spirit that he took that equipment over there. Because now one time did he think, well, shoot, I could work out with my wife. So my petty meter is turned all the way up. So you probably like, hey, what you mean? I'm going to go give me a membership to the gym. Every day I get off. Every day. I'm going to go work out. In them nice, fitty workout clothes. My penny meter is turned all the way up. But for right now, and by the time I get home with my son, because it's his day, I'm going to turn my petty down. You know. And be a mother and half of a wife. Okay? And you probably like, what you mean when you say half of a wife? I am going to be cordial to my husband and not show him clown like I could buy him home. He not gonna hear my mouth this week. Oh, but next week. 
know he's gonna hear it. And I'm, you know how you be missing. I don't know if you got a husband that work out of town, but my husband work out of town a lot. And I be missing him when he got home. Just missing his every every part of his existence. But when he back in town, I be ready for him to go again. Like bye. Like I've seen you. I've slept with you. And now I'm ready for you to get the hell out again. Because my when I'm when he not there, I don't have to tell nobody to pick their clothes up. I don't have to tell nobody to put their stuff up. That boy left a whole plate on my table. After he got through eating and didn't take it to the kitchen. Oh y'all know I I, I almost died a thousand times when he did that. See when cause when he not here, I don't have to worry about that. Because my children know not to do that. But he wanted to test my spirit. And my faith is still. I mean my faith is strong. But my 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 stance in the Christian community is still wavering. Don't don't test me. So yeah. I'm gonna go home, be a good 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 mother, have a good wife. And rep my son because that's what mothers do. We put our pettiness to the side and be mothers for our children. So I'll see you once I get to the house.